Why is it not looking at showing me? Okay, now it is. All right, we are live at the home of Beltway Editions. Welcome, Salgado Maranao and uh, Alexis Levitin. It's all yours. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, my friend. I speak a little, little bit, but he, Mr. Levitin, my translator, he speaks for me. Eu, um dado momento da minha vida, eu fui artista marcial. At a certain point in my life, I did martial arts. Eu pratiquei kung fu. I practiced kung fu. Naturalmente, essa prática entrou na poesia. Naturally, this um, discipline entered into my poetry. <laughs> tenho medo, tenho medo. Os amigos estão protegidos. Ok, ok. Então, eu tenho um poema que trabalha, fala do espírito da serpente. He has a poem from that, in a sense, body of work, the, the physical work of the Kung Fu, that um, speaks of the spirit of the snake. O Kung Fu se inspira, o Kung Fu chinês se inspira na essência dos animais. Kung Fu is inspired by the essences of animals. Então eu fiz um poema e o Levitin vai traduzir é, aqui no improviso ao mesmo tempo em que eu falo o poema. I will now present or act out a poem about the serpent uh, and Levitin will translate improvisatorily because he was only told Ten seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and so that's what you're yeah. going to be exposed to. Eu acompanho o movimento da serpente e o seu diálogo com a rã. I accompany the dialogue of the serpent with, é tanto que, with, with the frog. É tanto que quando a chama ao seu seio, não faz com quem mata. Mas como quem constrói seu ser? This, this não converse... faz como quem mata, mas como quem constrói seu ser. This conversation was done in such a way, in such a manner, that it wasn't as if the frog was being attacked, but rather was being brought into his own being. E o faz com tal leveza que a rã... And it was done with such lightness se esquece que é presa. That the frog forgot that he was captured, prey, right. <laughs> e passa a ser sua irmã. And turned into the serpent's brother. E no combate o punho seja assim, quase uma imaginação. In combat, may the, may the, just a second, may the thrust, or the dagger thrust, be such e que entre tão suave it will, that it enters so gently the, the dagger thrust como a nossa feição it enters as gently as if it were your deepest affection oh. <laughs> bravo, bravo, bravo <laughs> vamos lá this is most vicious poem Parar de brincadeiras e vamos lá. É do isso que as frogs. Vamos lá, vamos O sol sanguíneo. Sim, mas você já sabe. É isso, mas eu quero ouvir. Some of you have already, some of you have already heard a, a number of poems from this book, so we'll only do uh, two or three, but they are amongst our favorites. Venho dos córregos de água salobra do descampado chão de farelos. Na cara, o sol rachou minha gila seca. É o que digo aos guardiões que batem lata em meu silêncio. Distante ovulam ritos na memória como remendos no ontem. E meu olhar rasante incide, infante, ao cânion livre e ao abitz da flama do dia e sua blitz. O que não busco me tem, o que não ouve era meu. Pedras no caminho torto, mentiras feitas de mel. Há que se viver o árido como se cálido, há que se viver o breu como se breu, há que se viver o nada como se nada, nada até sangrar 
que só dão água para quem já tem uma. So this is poem number four from the first ten poems, which are a group of poems called Blood of the Sun. Um, ah, oh, good. Opa. Oh, Opa. <laughs> I come from gullies of brackish water, abandoned fields of stubbled earth. The sun has cracked the dry clay of my face. That's what I say to the guardians rummaging about in my silence. In the distance, rituals of memory ovulate like patches on yesterday. And my sweeping gaze sweeps a prince through the free canyon and the dwelling place of the flame of the day and its blitz. What I do not look for holds me. What didn't exist was mine. Stones on the twisting path, lies made of honey. One must live the arid, impassioned and torrid. One must live the vile with valor, with style. One must live nothingness as if it were nothing, nothing, nothing to the very last drop. <laughs> They only give water to one who already has the sea. Mm. <laughs> Esse livro, é, o poema que fala, que dá título ao livro, que se chama Sol Sanguíneo, é um longo poema de 13, de oito tópicos. Eu trata da questão da palavra, do que a palavra fez da minha vida, chegando a palavra escrita, chegando tardiamente em minha vida. Este livro, esse poema da Tito, é, é, que eu falei um pouco com o Levitin, dá título ao livro Sal Sanguin. So, these poems, the first couple that we're going to read, are from a group of poems that gave its title to this book, Blood of the Sun. É, trata da questão do, da palavra em minha vida, a palavra tendo chegado tardiamente. Amongst other things, it deals with the topic of the word, the word that came to me late in life and changed my life. Não a palavra ágrafa, mas a palavra gráfica, a palavra escrita. O livro chegou na minha vida de 15 anos para frente. I'm talking about the actual written word, because obviously he had heard yeah. Portuguese from his earliest babyhood, yeah. but he had no acquaintance with the written word till he was 15. Então esse poema é ode à palavra, ode à região de muito pobre onde eu nasci e à minha condição de negro no mundo. So these poems deal with the importance of the word coming to my life, the importance of the arid, he didn't say that, but the arid, scorched region in which he grew up, and the terra foi, and depois de, de a terra e a palavra e que mais. Por isso eu volto, eu começo esse poema falando, é, a voltar ao desabrigo, ao desabrigo da terra chã, aos limítrofes da palavra, larva fulminante e alarve que assiste da dispensa ao rapto da existência. Voltar ao solo atávico, onde os loucos riem-se à sombra da neblina. E bardo, romper a borda, rasgar o ímã da linguagem que capta em sua teia os inquilinos do assombro. O que move a lenda é o fulgorar do incêndio, o raio invicto a fecundar a pedra. Falo do que se inscreve no inabordável como a lua no lago alado, alada. Falo do que falam caninos num tempo de crotá-los. Voltar ao fulminante alarde. So this is the first of the um, ten or so poems in, in the group that he uh, has mentioned. Uh, it has a subtitle called The Flatlands. Um, to return to the desolate shelter of the flatlands, to return to the borders of the word, larva ravenous, a repressed roar that witnesses from the pantry 
a violation of existence. To return to the atavistic soil where madmen laugh in the shadows of the mist. And the bard, to break the border, tear the hymen of language that traps in its web tenants of astonishment. What moves the legend is the fire's blaze, the undefeated ray fertilizing stone <coughs> itself. I tell of what is inscribed on the unapproachable, like the winged moon lying on the lake. I tell of what the canines tell in the time of Crotalus to return to the ravenous roar of the word. So, Crotalus is half of the name, of the uh, scientific name of the rattlesnake. Crotalus uh, terrificus. Terrificus. Crotalus terrificus. Crotalus terrificus. And uh, they, when he grew up, there were rattlesnakes all over the place, sometimes even in the house. Um, once he picked up, he was a little kid, and he picked up this beautiful little snake, brightly colored. It was a coral snake, which are really amongst the most deadly snakes in the world. But his mother grabbed it from him and chopped its head off. Um, I, I also had a coral snake uh, in a completely different part of Brazil in my patio. And my neighbor, uh, a fisherman, a, a shrimp fisherman, a great shrimp fisherman, with great elegance in his throwing the net. And then it circles down, falls on the water. This shrimp fisherman saved me from my uh, coral snake. He just came over with his machete and cut its head off, and uh, he had done that previously to his wife, half a century earlier. Um, well, Brazil, you guys want to know something about Brazil? When I asked him, don't you feel bad, don't you feel bad? Your wife from half a century ago, she never got to live her life? She was only 17, don't you feel bad? Don't you feel, he says, remorso? Remorso da jeito nenhum, um homem deve ser um homem. Remorse, remorse, of course not, a man has to be a man. Oh, now you know something about yourself. Oh, yeah. But it's a beautiful country. <laughs> um, so about the crotalus, it's, it's of course the crotalus isn't just a snake, rattlesnakes in his house or around his house, but rather in society in, in general, mm -hmm. particularly in our thriving capitalist society. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nessas regiões muito áridas, secas, predominam animais peçonhentos, como cobras. In, in this region so dry and so uh, harsh, uh, uh, difficult to live in, there's a great predominance of venomous animals, in particular snakes. Aqui nos Estados Unidos, a região do Texas, Colorado, essas regiões, normalmente tem muita. Yeah, so a little similar to Texas. Creio que na África, a biuta, mamba negra, não é isso? E a víbora do gabão, são cobras venenosíssimas. I'm sure that Africa has its highly venomous snakes as well. The black mamba, the uh, que mais que é? é? Víbora do gabão. Víbora do gabão. Uh, yeah, what is that? Gabon, Gabon viper. Gabon viper. Agora, essas cobras não se comparam <laughs> com as víboras da luta que temos que enfrentar pela sobrevivência do homem contra o próprio homem. Of course, these vipers or these snakes don't even begin to compare with the real vipers with which we have to contend in our battle to even be alive in our society. Porque elas não inventam é, bomba, a bomba atômica, elas não inventam é, produtos venenosos para envenenar seu próprio irmão. Because, for instance, for instance a snake doesn't invent an, an A-bomb. Um, you know, he really likes that poem by uh, Allen Ginsberg. Uh, you all know the one I'm referring to? Yeah. Fuck you, America, with your A-bomb? You know? Come on. I'm learning it. Yeah. yeah. So that poem really has an influence on him. But he also said, of course, that we also, human beings, our poison spreads to the very environment in which we live, and we end up poisoning our fellow beings. Something a snake doesn't do. Oh. Uh, number two. Como número dois? Nós já fazemos, não? Minha terra é o nome que desabotoa o indomável. A palavra física em meu uivo entrado. Minha terra é terne. 
e urdir no capítulo da carne o sopro itinerante e arder sobre o sono do tempo e sua lírica de escombros. Recolhido às artérias lúdicas, ouço fui, fui, é, cantar a memória no livro das águas secas. É, longe a flor que fala a contenção que transborda e ao seu homicida que o vento escuta cala. Do cais rasurado de espera, velam noites até ser tabaques. Minha terra é minha pele. Próxima página, continua. Das rinhas em que o sol dá músculos à água, vieram é, o sol e o azeviste conjugado à carne. E vieram moendas de açúcar e súplicas, e vieram demandas de açoites e súplicas a desatar fonemas à fervura. A mim que cingiram caminhos de antigas laceradas. O mar das antigas laceradas, não deixa. Não importa. Abril. Abril. Ah, eu posso falar. É. Well, he, got, you got a real team here because I'm going deaf in my old age and he's going blind. So he got a real team. And, and I'm walking with a cane. But he's still in great shape. Kung Fu, I'm telling you, he really is in great shape. I know he's balanced. He oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, so this is poem number two from the same group of poems, Blood of the Sun. My home is the name that blossoms the indomitable, the physical word in my disemboweled howl. My home is to own myself and to weave in a chapter of flesh the wandering breath and to burn beneath the sleep of time and its lyric of debris. Withdrawn to playful arteries, I listen to memories sing in a living room of dry lagoons. Insular and ascetic, the fleeting seed of markings holds me in its mystery. Far off is the flower that speaks of a restraint that overflows and of a murderous lust to which the wind listens and then grows silent. From the dock, wiped clear of waiting, nights keep vigil to the clashing of African drums. My home is my skin. From cockfights in which salt gives water muscles comes the sun and the blackest black mated to the flesh and mills for grinding sugarcane and men in supplication and impositions of the whip and centuries of untangling phonemes to add to the boil. To me, with whom they sailed their way, to the sea of the Antilles, mm. lacerated. Mm. But about translation, oh, Jay, the, uh, are there some translators? Yeah. Uh, oh, look, oh, about oh. translation, listen to this. A mi que singiram caminhos ao mar das antilhas laceradas. His poem ends, to me, with whom they sailed their way to the sea of the lacerated Antilles. By putting the laceration After the Antilles, I have islands that are lacerated, a history that is lacerated, and a poet who is lacerated. <laughs> All because English allows that when the adjective comes after a series of nouns, and you don't know to which one it is attached. It's exactly what he believes in, what he likes. He doesn't understand English. But I explained to him how the lacerated is working, and he loves it. Because what he loves is for his poetry to be able to reach in several directions at the same time. And that's what that last word does in this poem. I just have to say, as a translator, that's a tough text. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the words, big vocabulary there yeah. that you have to. Curiosamente, nenhum, nenhum povo, nenhum ente é, do planeta andou tanto, cresceu, evoluiu tanto quanto o negro, naturalmente negro, homens e mulheres, e a mulher como ente no mundo do século XX. Nenhum ente desse, nenhum ente do planeta andou tanto, voou tanto, se desenvolveu tanto e venceu a diversidade quanto mulher e negro. This is a very optimistic vision of recent history, uh, but I'm just going to translate for him. 
and what he said is that no no creature, no living creature of any kind, male, female, whatever, has evolved and developed and grown as much as blacks and women in the 20th century. He's right, but there's a long way to go. Países se libertaram num século em que guerras terríveis foram feitas. Pessoas que estavam abaixo do nível da consciência humana voaram, não andaram, voaram. Quando? Agora? No século XX. Ah, people who in the past were even beneath notice during previous centuries and the big wars and the big conflicts um, have in this 20th century begun to fly. No entanto, como a escravidão foi ontem, a escravidão do povo negro na América, é quando se fala, quando, mesmo que seja um Obama, quando se fala que no negro tem por trás uma história enorme de muita diversidade e superação. Ainda que seja um presidente da república, tem por trás da sua história uma história de muita luta e superação. He's given this talk, we've been doing this for four or five days, and he's really changed it a little bit. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm hesitating, because what he says about Obama, to me, is fascinating, except that now what he says is that even today, in the 20th century, a, a, a black person has possibilities that one couldn't even have dreamed of in the past, such as becoming president of the United States. But behind it lies a, um, a history of suffering and of overcoming. However, in our previous presentations, my impression was that he also said, and yet Obama is still a black man, which is a very different presentation of the same truth. Namely, do you think Obama as president was really free? He, if you read his speeches, I'm talking about Obama because he is so, I'm very focused on this. I think he could have done things much better se ele não tinha o medo em nome de Wall Street. É, por isso é que eu digo, minha terra é minha pele. Eu não tenho terra. That's why, that's why I say, my land or my homeland is, is my skin. Because you, can't, because you can't get away from it even if you're Obama. And what I wanted to say about Obama is, look at it, I don't know what your politics, I don't even like politics. But if you look at Obama and you read his speeches, you know that he knew many good things and wanted to do many good things that he never managed to do. Because once he was president, he knew he was hemmed in. Wall Street, the CEOs, everyone hemmed him in. I am positive. I'm just a regular guy. I'm not a political analyst. And I'm not a Washingtonian like you guys. But I am convinced and have been ever since Obama became president that someone said to him, yeah, you can do this and that, but that's it. You do more than that, you're a dead man. I am certain that somebody threatened him because of the difference between the things he dared to do and the things he wished to do. The good things. That's a very good point, but let's go, let's oh, go on with the poetry. Okay, sorry, folks. That's not translation. No. <laughs> I get carried away even though I don't That's care okay. I, it's my role, unfortunately, as the... As the director, I have to come in and... O que está no verbo está... O verbo. O que está no verbo está na carne. Na fúria do lobo, na túnica da tarde. O que está no vinho está na veia. Na lã que emaranha o inseto e a teia. O que está no rio está no riso. No abismo que alumbra o lago de Narciso. Plasmam reticências de auroras que ruínas. Bailam sobre runas o fogo e a pólvora, o sangue e a fortuna. Ok, so you can hear it's a rhymed poem and there's a lot of wordplay. The sound is really important to Salgado and me and when we work together, which we do all the time, every book, I would never, I would never have begun translating him if I didn't have his uh, friendship and his... Uh, more than collegial presence at, at my side. And we go over everything together, but we go over it as if it were music. Right? What is, this is about the word. And by the way, for those of you who know Portuguese, the poem is verbo, not palavra. 
But in English, we don't have the word verbo. In the beginning was the word. Mm -hmm. right? Latin. The word. Did someone say a word other than word? <laughs> it's Latin. Verbo, exactly, yeah. Mm. The word. What is in the word <laughs> is in the flesh, in the wolf's ferocity, in the afternoon's breath. What is in the wine is in the vein tonight, a woolly tangle, insect, and web wrapped tight. It is laughter that the river makes, excuse me, it is laughter that the river waters make in the abyss that dazzles Narcissus and his lake. They shape the reticences of dawns and all its ruins. They dance on ancient runes and mud, fire and powder, fortune and blood. Mm. Mm. Os poemas, Bravo. Os poemas falados nesta noite, escolhidos por Mira Vitim, tratam de questões que o Brasil vive atualmente. The poems we're reading this evening, uh, which I've selected, or supposedly Alexis also selected, the poems I've selected for this evening really talk about the present conditions, to a large degree, and problems in Brazil. Por exemplo, a questão dos negros e dos índios. But specifically, um, the question, or the, I don't like the word problem, um, the difficulties and the plight of the Indians, which we will come to, and of blacks in Brazil, and by extension elsewhere. Estes poemas não foram feitos para tratar desta questão na circunstância em que ela surge. Que ela surge, as circunstâncias surgem. Yeah, these poems were not written to deal with the present problem, but the, 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 they surged up and they grew naturally. É fruto de uma observação e de uma vivência durante long time, long time. They are uh, the fruit of a uh, lived life, yeah. of experience, uh, 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 and observation over a long period of time. Porque a função do poeta é olhar aquilo que ninguém vê mais. The function of a poet is to see, to gaze at, and to see what other people no longer are even noticing. Guarulhos, de 6 milhões em 1500, eu estou apenas uma legião de vultos, soletrando uma algazarra zorra, um quarupe de calça jeans. Os outros foram mortos, até os que estão vivos, até os que não nasceram. This poem... This painful short poem is even more painful for me because I mistranslated the beginning of the poem. So you'll have to forgive me and uh, I may write in a correction if you happen to buy this book. Kuarup of six million back in 1500, there remained just a legion of shadows spelling out a racket, a rave, a kuaruk in faded jeans. The others all were dead, even those still alive, even those who were never born. And the confusion of tenses at the end is deliberate. Uh, they were killed in the past, they are the living dead, and the future ones are already dead, though they haven't been born. Oh, so, I'm sorry, kuaruk. Kuaruk. Is a ritual celebration uh, still practiced by Brazilian um, Indians? A festival. É uma festa de celebração dos índios. It's a, a cel celebratory festival of Indians. Yeah. Um, Recentemente, os Yanomami apareceram na mídia, agora no final do governo Bolsonaro, é, em que estavam os trapos magros é, e doentes. So uh, down in Brazil, uh, the Yanomani have recently uh, appeared in the press quite a bit, and photographs and newspapers, and they seem well in bad shape, very thin, uh, and uh, not able to 
to take good care of themselves. Porém, este poema foi feito há quase 30 anos. However, this poem was written 30 years ago. Quando vierem os filhos do mestre com suas línguas de pólvora, quando vierem as hordas rudes, chama Tupã, chama, chama. Quando vier a luz sangrenta, quando vier, vierem os deuses homicidas com sua sede de pedras, chama, chama. Chama Tupã. Quando os, os lugares sagrados forem tocada, tocados, a noite virá. Virá como o hálito da manhã, pois estarei me, me pondo fraco. A noite virá como o vento, pois estarei morrendo. Quando a noite, quando a, o, rio, o rio, na, rio grifar na terra ácida, sua legenda de sangue. Ó vento que alinha o destino, ó rito que fala aos ancestres. Chama Tupã, chama, chama. O que é interessante sobre essa sessão para mim é que agora são dois poemas em uma vez que 